to share with you a little of my background and what brings me to give my time, energy, and monetary gifts to Westminster. Like many of you, I grew up in a small church, was active in youth groups, Sunday school, choir boy lighting candles at services, performing in church pageants, and being in a musical family, I had to join the choir. Like many of us, as I later tackled life and its expectations and complexities, military service, college, marriage, I slowly drifted away from church. What brought me back in here to Westminster almost 40 years ago, wow, uh, was a friendliness and dedication to service and the people I found here. It was warm and comforting place to worship again and to return to singing in the choir. It required no epiphany, just a peaceful feeling of belonging that has kept me here. It felt like home, a place where people cared about each other and the work they do following Jesus. Over the years, Westminster has become my extended family and one that I have grown to love and cherish. From our joyful choir, who tolerate most of my quirks, to the church members I've worked with here in different capacities and many of my closest friends, all of them are a gift from God that has supported and comforted me in the best of times and more recently when my wife passed, some of the worst of times. Here are a few of the things that today are bringing joy into my life and that are driving my sense of stewardship at Westminster. I'm excited to see that in the near future, our Living Waters for the World team will be returning to Central America to continue installing much needed clean water systems in remote locations. It was one of the experiences of my life to join our Westminster team in Nicaragua, along with our then new pastor, Kate. The culture and the foods amazed me at every turn and the warmth and smiles of the people left an indelible impression. As a career educator, I'm also excited about our New Day mission activities and the thousands of lunches they deliver to children at local schools. I'm excited about our growing youth and children ministries and our partnering with Swift Elementary. In fact, I recently discovered the joy in getting to know and help many of the first graders at Swift with their reading skills. It's been touching to be ganged up on and warmly hugged by a group of first graders as I enter the classroom. Not at all my experience as a secondary teacher and librarian. <laughs> I'm excited about our church's varied social activities, including our new intergenerational mixers and lunches, beer tasting group, and the new men's master class group. You see, I'm a firm believer in Harry Staley's school of you're only as old or as smart as the people you hang out with. <laughs> These are just a few of the things at Westminster that need our support and that still keep me excited to just walk in the door. This month, we will be considering our Count Me In stewardship response. Our responses in the past will determine our success in living out the dream God has for this church. It will require our time and energy our financial support, to allow Westminster to thrive and grow and continue to bring the message of Jesus to our community and the world. Just count me in to what Jesus is doing at Westminster and praise God for his countless gifts to us.